Murphy and welcome to my humble kitchen. Today we're going to do honey garlic chicken. Now let's get on with it. We got some drumsticks here. First thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil on them. This will help develop a crust, a crispy surface. And we shall season these drumsticks with some sea salt. And some fresh black pepper. That's all we're going to do here. We're just going to season them up to enhance the flavor of the chicken. Okay, it's ready for the oven. Put it in a hot oven, 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. That will seal the drumstick, it will seal the juices inside. And if you don't cook it too long, it'll come out nice and juicy on the inside. No worries. Okay, 10 minutes, 400, and then you turn it down to 350 for about 25, 30 minutes. Okay, now it's been about 15, 20 minutes, so I'm going to just pull them out and flip them over and put them back in and finish cooking them off. All right, now it's been about 40 minutes and it smells like they're cooked. It smells absolutely wonderful. All right, let's pull them. Yeah, perfect. These are ready. Just loosen them up a little here. Now we need some honey, of course, and we need some garlic. Now this recipe is very simple. That's all I'm using, honey and garlic. We're going to use two cloves of garlic. And we're going to crush it up. Make sure this pan doesn't burn, but we want to heat it up. Okay, once we peel the garlic, we can start crushing. Oops, some ended up on the floor there. if you want to, but in fact I have a garlic crusher, I just like doing it this way. Okay, now we'll put the back pan back on the heat. What we'll do is we'll put some honey in the pan. Now we're going to put a fair amount of honey in there. As you can see, it's starting to boil already. The pan is very hot. Now the idea somebody's installing carpet in the hallway. Now the idea is to add this garlic to the honey and to caramelize the honey. As you can see, it's it's boiling up here. That's what you want. And <clears throat> you want to add the chicken, like so. I guess we'll do four pieces. Now, this honey gets very, very, very hot. You don't want to handle it with your hands once it goes into the honey. 
but what you do is you just cook the chicken and uh, with the garlic here and it's it just needs time really I can see now that the honey is getting a little darker it's starting to caramelize and that's basically what you want to do and you can turn down the heat so we don't end up burning the honey but you just just let it cook away let the chicken soak up the honey in my restaurant I used to have a, a saute pan and the chicken used to be completely covered in the honey and the garlic and I'd let it cook in there for maybe 10-15 minutes and serve it but you know really the longer you do this the better it gets I don't know if you can see this but the honey is getting a little darker and it's starting to work its magic. Next to my hamburger, this was my best seller. I would serve it uh, with a little bit of brown rice and uh, some salad, a vegetable salad or a fruit salad. Okay, I can see that it's starting to really come together now. The honey is actually getting thicker, it's becoming syrupy. You know, I, I believe the simple things are the best things in life. So keeping it simple and elegant and, you know, it's a, it's a triad of flavor. You've got the chicken, you've got the garlic, you've got the honey. The three work together. You don't really want to mess with that, you know. This is the original recipe. And apart from adding heat, it's very healthy for you. You know, why make a healthy recipe and then add brown sugar to it? I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Now, this is still going. Like I said, this takes time. And how much time? I can't really tell you. You've got to just... You've got to let the dish tell you when it's time. Now this is this is where you want it right here. The uh, the honey is nice golden brown, as you can see. What we can do is pull it up here. Wow, this is wonderful. And the best part about it. sauce that is just, oh, simply out of this world. And we'll just garnish with some green onion. Tell you what, I'm going to get some basil. We'll put some basil on here, fresh basil. go. There you have it. Look how thick and gooey this honey sauce is. It's almost like toffee. Look at it. Wow. It's like, now what we're going to do. Mm. This is what people line up for. This is just out of this world. Different. Wow. I can get carried away with this. Talk about comfort food. Alright. This is Chef B signing off. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the music. Ciao.